So in this uh, short uh, clip I want to show how I have uh, done the uh, wiring of the router here. Right here you see uh, the uh, C gantry and uh, if you go a little closer I have the wires coming out of the stepper uh, and then through this flexible hose here and they tend to unravel so I have put on some uh, uh, heat shrink tubing here and at the other end and then right in here at the beginning of the cable chain um, <laughs> here I have the uh, the p place where I have soldered together the cable going through the cable chain and then this piece here which was maybe 20 centimeter long so it actually happens right here so it's the same for the other stepper and uh, you have the cable for the uh, the router here and then finally um, this cable coming from the C uh, limit switch which I have shown on another video which is sitting on the uh, on the gantry. The cable chain is uh, mounted through some of the holes which is already in the uh, gantry plates this hole over here it's the same one here and this is just a bracket uh, I got from Ikea and was supposed to hold a shelf uh, against the wall uh, but uh, I just bended it slightly so it could sit like this uh, not being in the way maybe you can see that I wanted to keep the full length of the uh, oval hole for the stepper to go up and down in order to have that option so I cut the corner here Maybe you can see it like that. So I cut that corner and then I bended it in order to get it flat on this surface for the uh, cable chain uh, that then goes around to that end there. The cable chain is supported by a uh, L-shaped piece of aluminum and it's just put on some brackets uh, that are fixed to the uh, to the uh, secondary beam here and this is just a close-up of um, the wire from the C limit switch uh, we saw from the other side now in the front here we have the spindle there and then it goes down here and underneath and into the switch and basically again I have just reused some of the uh, the things that are already there. So you have the uh, screw that holds the two main wheels and I simply just added an extra screw outside and then made this little bracket again out of some of these IKEA uh, brackets. And below uh, you have this uh, piece here and so it can actually fit the wire between that and the screw so I only just needed a washer there to keep it nicely in place. So this is on the uh, left side of the gantry and you have the limit switch sitting on the uh, gantry plate. This is the proximity switch and um, together with that you have the motor and for motor it's the same story. I have used the shrink tubing and, and the flexible wire and then the soldering will happen somewhere inside here and then becomes a cable and uh, I've used this big hole uh, to uh, pull the wires through. Uh, so this is at the end of, uh, of the machine uh, on the right side and again I have the proximity switch sitting in the in the loop that I designed on on the plate, and uh, since I um, did not add a hole for taking wires, I actually just took one of the screws out and took the wire through there. Uh, in my drawings, I actually have added a hole here, but of course it was too late uh, when I had all the uh, laser cutting done. Uh, so if you were gonna laser cut in you will actually get a hole here and you can pull the wire through there and then you get all screws in. 
So here we have uh, the right side of the gantry. Uh, and first of all, of course, you have the uh, proximity switch uh, to this side, again sitting in its loop, and you have all the wires coming out of the uh, the um, cable chain, and they are basically collected in a bundle. I have put some strips around, and again motor, same story, the soldering happens right here, um, and then again IKEA, I use a key a lot, you can see. There's IKEA bracket now without any bins. And again, I could reuse a hole that's already in the plates um, for this uh, cable chain that then goes around. And then it is basically uh, fixed to the table in, the, in, in this. Area. So um, that's it. And then we basically have all the wires uh, coming out here. You have um, the proximity switch from behind coming out here, and the front, this is this one here. And they, of course, go together uh, here and uh, end up in the uh, control box, together with all the other cables uh, up here in a nicely orderly manner. And I had to do a little work in order to uh, be sure that when the uh, gantry comes, it actually clears all the wires here in a fairly nice way. There's still room for at least my fingers between, so it should be okay. Finally, the computer part. Uh, Next to the uh, control box I have the screen setting here and then on the back side here I drill a big hole. I put an external USB out here so I had the option to for example connect the Xbox controller and then all the computer, uh, computer and loudspeakers are inside and then finally I decided to use a a wireless mouse and a wireless um, keyboard in order to uh, uh, be able to easily just stow it away when the machine is not in use.